Just on the Libya military operation, do you believe the War Powers Act requires authorization of further action by the War the Powers Act has no application to what's going on in Libya none uh, I don't believe so you know we, we did an authorization for Afghanistan we did one for Iraq but we have no troops on the ground there and this thing's gonna be over before you know it anyway so I, I think it's not necessary well as you know there are some of your Democratic colleagues including Senator Durbin your number two feels very differently about it feels very strongly he feels very different so yeah. Why, why do you think it, 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 the fact that uh, U.S. Troop, no, US troops are not on the ground, but U.S. Uh, military uh, hardware and equipment and personnel are, are, being, are involved, why the difference? Well, well, I think you can see what the problem is. Uh, Speaker Boehner, they did something in the House, and Gaddafi wrote, wrote him a letter and said thanks. I mean, I think very clearly that what we're doing there is the right thing to do, I'd, I'd much rather have Gaddafi gone. I don't think the War Power Act, when it was drafted, was meant to take this into consideration. That's how I feel, and if we arrange a vote, that's how I'll vote. Now, on Afghanistan, the president is due to announce very soon a, uh, the schedule for an Afghanistan troop withdrawal and the size of, these, uh, of the withdrawal. Where do you come down on this? Well, the American people have war fatigue. It's been going on for a long, long time. I think the president was right when he said July 1st there's going to be a drawdown. He said that a long time ago, and there's going to be a drawdown. Uh, I am confident that, that it will be one that's substantial. I certainly hope so.